Hello and welcome to our CAD Clip Revit 9 building series on keynotes, tagging, and materials. And uh, this is a kind of a nice overview lesson where we're going to kind of uh, go through and show you what the final product is once you get all your keynotes set up. So I've just got a drawing open here, which is a default uh, drawing that comes with Revit under the uh, training session. It's called Eye Cutting Openings, and you may have seen this in your snooping around in the Revit uh, sample file. So this is a, a building that comes with Revit, and I've appended that and applied all my keynotes, etc. And, and I'm just going to do a demonstration here on how you can, um, you know, go in in our plans, in sections, etc., and add our keynotes in there. So I have a section in here, section two. If I look at my level one, okay, my section two is here. So I'm going to go on to that. It has no number because it hasn't been placed on a sheet. And what we can do with our keynotes, and I'm just going to start at the bottom and work our way up. If we go over here to drafting and I hit keynote, is what we're going to talk about, keynote by element and keynote by material. And you'll see as I go through this where you might do them and then you can uh, refer, uh, refer to our other six or seven videos on how to actually set this up in the, the uh, inside uh, workings of these keynotes. So I'm just going to go through and kind of add some notes and then maybe make a legend in the end. So I'm going to start off by doing a keynote and I'm going to say by element and I'm going to start here in the bottom and I'm going to go up here and say free end. I'm going to pick over here and I'm going to place that and put in a keynote. I'm going to continue along here, place another keynote there, along there. I can also use detail items as well. Okay, add in a, an anchor bolt in there and then use my line that up. Okay, then I can grab my concrete slab, add a keynote in for that. Now for the wall, I can do a couple of different ones. I can add an element but I don't really have a, uh, an element made for that. This is where we go and do keynote by material. I'm going to go in here and grab each individual material. Okay, I'm going to start with the brick. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the airspace. And then I'm going to go to the rigid insulation and try to kind of line these up. I'm clicking twice there. And then I'm going to get in a little closer. You got to zoom in, pick your, oh, okay, I can fix that a little bit later. Three quarter inch by half inch furring. And I'm not going to stop simply because I don't want to kind of um, pick my command again. I can come back and straighten that out a little bit later. Okay. Now I'm doing materials. Okay. I'm going to switch back and do keynote by element again. And I'm going to make sure I say free end here so I can place it wherever I want. Okay, place that. And I can also do this is a detail item and so is this. Okay, the walls and doors and windows and slabs and ceilings are model items, but this guy here is just a detail item. Okay, I can add that in there. I can add in my aluminum window. Okay, these are all right now keynote by element. Okay, I'm going to go back to doing my soffit. Okay, metal gutter. Okay, now I'm going to do two for the roof. I'm going to actually pick one for the roof and say use the keynote element. Now I'm going to go switch to keynote material. Okay, do keynotes in here and add materials. You can do this as well. So that roof has both set up. Okay, the wall which is a comparative system, doesn't have quite the same thing done. And I can go over here because this is the same roof. No, it says you're over it. Okay, asphalt shingles. Place that. I'm doing by material. You can see that's checked off there. Okay. Go down. Oh, go down a little bit lower. Keynote by material. Three-quarter inch plywood. Okay, now I'm going to do keynote by element and pick the roof system. Oh, now you see I forgot to say free end and what it did was it put it up there. So I'm going to undo that one back. Keynote by element, which is the whole roof, free end. Place that over there. Now because mine are right justified, it's actually, or left justified, it's easier if I have my arrow on the left. Similarly with these guys, this might be easier 
if I take these and, and move those over and put the text on the other side. Because it's justified by the left, it works best off the left, off the left as you can see. Now down to my floor system, I can do the same thing. I can go by material, pick over here. Now remember, I should go to the right. So then that should be over there. Okay, keynote by material. Keynote by material again. Oh, now that's written up as a rafter. I'll have to check that. Now I'm going to do keynote by element and free end wood floor system. Okay, now down to here. Keynote by element free end, which I wish, I wish it was the default. See concrete slab structural. Click on here. Nudge, nudge, nudge. Okay. Ceiling. Keynote element. I'm going to do the whole ceiling first. Make sure I switch this. Metal frame ceiling system. And now I'm going to do by material, which I'm allowed to do. Gypsum wall board. Okay, you can see it kind of starts to look like you can make some progress. By element in this case, free end. Concrete slab. Move that over footing okay I can go in and do some items on here I can switch over to plan view over to my plan view keynote by element I can say okay you know metal what metal stud wall system okay notice the this doesn't even have to touch it okay depending tune into more some more of our CAD clip videos to see why that works the way it does and then Keynote by material again. No. By material. And look, I got the slab there instead. Gotta wait till I see the right item. There we go. Half inch gypsum board, isn't that handy? Okay. And then I can click on here. It's a metal C channel. Keynote by element. Switch it over, sink, toilet partition, toilet, okay, I wonder the door has, three quarter inch metal door, okay, I can also do materials from here, I don't need to do this, but same type of thing as I did in the section plan, right? Keynote by element and free end. That's the one you have to switch that over. Element, metal stud wall system, metal stud wall system. Okay. Once again, keynote by material. I can go in and individually pick these components. Okay, maybe I've got, do I have? I think I do. Element, free end, system, yeah, there we go. I always forget to click twice there. So I would say do all the elements type once and then, um, and then do the material ones separate if you want to. So you can kind of leave this till the end and then do it really fast. Let's go have a look at our stairway. Keynote by element because we're not worried about material, right? I mean, we are, but it is not the same application. Okay, wood stair. Place that over there. Okay, so in a very short period of time with our keynotes, using just these two element and material, you can see that once the actual objects are set up, and they're told what material and what materials connecting to the um, keynote tables, then everything works and you save these in your template project and you reuse these and transfer these materials and objects from project to project using your transfer system. But you can see how very quickly you could go through and I could even, you know, tag this in here. 
notice the attached one what happens is as you move around kind of uses a kind of a, a box around the object I tend to go free in but multiple seating there's no end to it right we can do stair as well in whatever view we want you can see it's you don't even have to point if you actually accept the you can see it can go oh that one didn't have anything attached or assigned so you can see very quickly you can go through your drawing you can add all these in here okay and then what you can do is go up here and say view new keynote legend give it a name add those values in there and then you've got yourself a nice legend okay then you go down and you make a sheet right click new sheet hit OK there's my new sheet okay then I can go in here and I can grab my section to drag it in place it on my sheet go grab my keynote legend under my schedule drag that over place it over there and away you go and of course there's all kinds of little goodies here but one thing I just want to note you'll notice that for instance we have the multi eating as an example in here okay um, that multiple seating only will will only show up for instance or the items you, we can filter so this list only shows the keynotes that are in the views that are on this sheet so watch what we can do I'm gonna go back to my um, keynote legend in the schedule and I'm gonna right click I'm gonna go in the view properties of that keynote legend okay and I'm gonna go into the filter option in here and I'm gonna say filter by sheet which means only show the keynote items that are on the sheet that it's placed so watch back to my sheet here this has gotten a little bit smaller and we'll we'll show you an example here okay for instance in level one view we've got a toilet toilet partition and sink okay if you look at this keynote legend okay you can see toilet and um, sink and toilet here and toilet partition are in the legend but when you go down to here you'll notice that they're not in there okay because this has legend has been filtered to say only show items that are on the same sheet now watch what happens if I add look at the bottom here okay now when I add my floor plan to this sheet over here bink now I've added that floor plan and guess what when I zoom in here now it's showing my toilet partition and my sink and my toilet in the legend because this view has been placed on the same sheet and this legend has been told to filter and only show objects that are on the same sheet now watch we'll take it a last step here I'm gonna go back to here I'm gonna delete the toilet and I'm gonna go back to my sheet or my legend and you will see that toilet is gone sink and toilet partition are there okay I can even go like this click on here and say activate the view delete the sink delete the toilet partitions okay and then magically because Revit is so cool that is now gone from my legend my filtering legend so there's a couple great tips on using keynotes placing your keynotes and then using your one of your legend aspects to uh, display those items on a sheet